Hello everyone. Welcome back to the .NET office. So today we are connecting again to discuss about the new Angular API that is the output. It got introduced in Angular version 17.3. Although it is in preview state, but still we are good to implement it in our application. So if you are using Angular version 17.3, so Angular team has introduced the new Angular API that is the output. Now, if you are already working with the uh, like Angular application, then to communicate between the component, we use input and output. Output is basically like we want to transfer back the data from child to the parent component, then we use to uh, use the output. So that we already know. But now with Angular version 7.10.3, there is a slightly change with this output. Now, why they have introduced this new Angular API output? So it has a couple of the advantages which got introduced with this. One is the simpler and safer. So with this, now the error prone way means we get less error and it is basically type safety since it is strictly or strongly type and uh, like basically up with this we can get very less error at the runtime and the consistency now for an example like we have the uh, a, uh, functional based api like signal input model so to make this consistent now this output api also got introduced now uh, let's understand with the, uh, this new api like how it gave the benefit and what is the implementation of using it so let's go to the visual studio and here you can see i have already created two component one is the app component which when we create the application it auto automatically comes another is the child component so child uh, is the basically now with this output we what we are going to do we are going to communicate between these two component and when we do anything on this child component, it should communicate with the parent component that we are going to see. Now, if we create the Angular application after the version 14, we know all the component by default are the standalone component. So we can see these two components are the standalone component. So now let's see how we can see it. So first let's see the traditional way means how uh, so far how we used to uh, uh, implement this uh, output so how we used to do is basically like at the rate output we used to have and this is a method let's write some event that is the variable name and how we used to do the event emitter and let's take the type of this one is a string so this is the way so far we used to do means like we used to create this is the way of implementing it now this output is come from the uh, angular core and even this event emitter is also come from here now what i'm going to do i'm going to write one method here like handle click and inside this one what i'm going to do now like for an example first let's write this dot sum event dot emit and inside this one i'm going to write a child button click so this method i have written here now what is the purpose of this emit so emit is basically help us to communicate or to transfer the data from this child component to the parent component if you are already working with the angular application and you are communicating between the component you know this is the way of doing it now the next thing let's create one button here so what i'm going to do i'm going to write the button and here let's uh, write the uh, click event and here let's put this button name so this button name i have put and child uh, child button click so this method we have created on the child component so this is the one uh, like thing which we have implemented another thing in the parent component now what we have to do we have to consume this event whatever the output event we have created we have to consume in the uh, parent component so to consume in the parent component what we have to do we have to use this app child so first what i'm going to do app child and inside this one what i have to write i have to write event name so what is the event name that is the sum event here and then we have to write the method name so 
in this parent component what we have to do we have to write the parent method name so what i'm going to do i'm just uh, going to copy this one and here uh, so handle parent button click so this method name i have written and let's put it here and what we have to pass we have to pass the event so this is the uh, way uh, like calling in the html file and in the ts file what we have to do we have to take the message so this message we have to take and here what we have to do let's print the message so what i'm going to do i'm going to write the alert and here what i'm going to do here i'm going to write message received and what message received whatever the message is coming from the child component so what we have done here we have just uh, written the method name and we are just writing it printing it now here you can see it is giving one error what it is saying it is a non-element now if we are going with the modular paged application then we have to define this component in the ng module but since these are the standalone components so what we have to do we have to define it here so child component so we have to define it now error is gone now let's go on the browser so when i'll go on the browser let's see what it is saying event is not assignable that type so let's see this error first okay so let's solve this again and let's see if this error goes so i have given the command ng serve so it is basically serving it again and now you can see we can see this button so like i have done the ng serve might be some changes was not taking that's the reason so here you can see this button is coming and when i click on this button we can see message receive child button click so this is the way like we are communicating between the child and the parent component so so far what we have done we are using the traditional way we have created this event emitter we have created this button and we are emitting it and we know the use of this emit is basically to communicate or to transfer the data from this child component to the parent child now in the parent uh, component we are consuming it with this and here we are writing it in the parent component so this is the traditional way or we can say the way which we used to before now with this output the new api how it got introduced so there are slightly changed only what we have to do we have to give the sum event so i am going to take the same variable name and here what we have to do we have to use this as in like output so this new api we have to use it so how we have to just write this output and it is in a small letter it is available in the end slash core only angular slash core only and here what we have to do we have to give the type so that's this is the only change which we have to do now previously we used to do it using the event emitter but now it's not needed and we can see it is strongly typed now now when you will save this go on the browser let's refresh it and when you will click on this you can see we are getting this message again now if you want to see this like what i am doing new writing like new api now let's save this and see the changes so if i will click on this we can see new api so we can see like the new changes uh, or the new api got introduced is working as expected so this is the slightly changes with the new output api which got introduced uh, in the angular version 17.3 now apart from this output there is a, another new api that is the output from observable also got introduced and like this uh, particular function help us to emit value based on the source observable so this is the way we can use like this new angular api output and output from observable we'll discuss more about this after from output from observable in the next video but in this video we have discussed more about this output so now instead of using the event emitter now output is the function that got introduced and it is basically a strongly type and it help us uh, in the type safety and is basically like consistency between all the uh, like api which we are having with the angular so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you